welcome my friends to this new video and today we will see that how we can add some extra functionality to our google drive api app so in the last video we have seen that we can simply upload this file a fixed file from our phone but in this video we will see that how we can select a file from our phone and then we can try adding it to the google drive so this is the second part of the video means second part of the playlist and so basically we have made a button here which says select file so that button is this one which we have named it as add attachment and on clicking of the button we have a function here in the global scope so that whatever we do is not on the main thread and our UI is not blocked so basically we have start activity for here it means it will start the action to select a file because we have to use the provided tools which are provided by the google to select a file so basically it will start a intent and it will to ask the user to choose a file whichever file he wants to upload so on going to this function we will go to see that the code is 111 you can change the code according to your use and inside it we get the selected file uri and we simply make a copy of the file so why copy of the file we make the copy of the file so that we can use it for the later means we can upload the file later and we make the copy using this function which is the make copy and we also make a toast here for the URI so that we can we confirm that yes we have selected a file in the make copy we simply make a parcel file descriptor and an input stream and a file and output stream and we simply copy from the input stream to the output stream in our file location which is the files directory so I will show you it how it copies it and where we can find our copied file and we can do it means we can get the file later and we can simply upload it and then we can simply delete that file so that we do not have extra memory usage via the app means simply it's making a copy of the file so it will simply make the memory usage more so we will simply delete the file after the upload so that the users don't have any extra trouble and inside it we also have an extra function to get the file name so that we do not change the file name according to our type and we get the original file name from this get file name function so we have that get file name function which returns a string and we get the file name from here so basically it's a uh, cursor which moves to every file and then it takes the display name and it is written out as the display name so basically we have added three things from the last state of the code that is get file name make copy and start on on activity result so basically we will now run our application and we will see that whether it works or not also in the device explorer you can see that i have this google drive api here and now we are into our application so we can simply now click on login and here we can select a file so let me select any file here so let me select this one so now you can see the content URI and if i synchronize it then you can see that i have the same file here so let me select another file and if i synchronize it you will see that file here so basically we are getting our file in the our app folder which is inside the our storage and it's different for every app so we can now use this file later to upload it to google drive so this was it in the video we will see much more things in the upcoming video so thank you for watching this video i hope you like it and in the later video we will see how we can upload this file which we have copied to the google drive using the api so 
hope you liked it and you will subscribe to the channel and like the video comment down if you want something much and for the code also you can comment down so that i can give you the code Okay thank you